Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Minecraft on the Sandbox Mod Pack. And uh, today we're go going to hit this. Oh yeah. Um, and then we're going to work on a bit of tech finally. Uh, I wanted to delay it, I wasn't trying to look for tech, but I'm an unorganized person. I made nether furnaces, it's just nether rack exactly the same way as you would normally do it. There's a button that tells me. Oh, there it is. Uh, just nether rack uh, for the nether furnace there. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, they give you double efficiency. So instead of using for a stack of something, you'd normally use eight charcoal or coal. You would use four. And uh, mainly because it's twice as fast. And so it gets, it, you know, the efficiency is the same. So here's the place. I put carpenter blocks here. Uh, if you don't know about carpenter blocks, well, you've seen them. You can right-click them with uh, just the material. And then, of course, you can t click them, shift-click with a piece of glowstone, and you can end up adding a piece of glowstone to light up the floor. And if you hit F7, you'll see there is no light issues in here. So that works out really well. Um, today, I'm going to start working on some machinery. And uh, I'm looking at probably a bit of thermal expansion to get started. Uh, just maybe some lava generation. I don't really care for maybe overdoing lava gen, though I don't mind it if you go and get the lava. I'm not, you know, I'm a big fan if you obtain it yourself. So way to the bottom down there and a little further away, we do have lava. So I might somehow bring it up eventually just for the fun of it and suck it up for that usage. But for now, uh, we're just going to go by a uh, bucket here or container and I actually have some in here. So let's get started on the crafting portion of things anyways. So uh, when starting out thermal expansion, let's look at what we need for here. So this is a magnetic dynamo. Invar is a very easy material. Uh, it's basically iron and uh, invar ferrous. So you need to, uh, this is a bad page, but basically you just need uh, one of each, and I did it in the smeltery. Here you go. Uh, two iron, one ferrous or nickel, and it gives you three envar. And so I already made that already here. And uh, if we sort this out, what the heck? Oh, that's aluminum. Oh, there you go. Envar. Uh, we already have it. So let's get a bit of everything in here. Silver. Silver is just mixing. Um, oh, no. Silver is just silver. Electrum, on the other hand. There we go. Electrum is mis mixing silver and gold on a one to one ratio. And the lead is just lead, of course. And uh, what else we got in here? I uh, got tin and then some copper. And that's pretty much it for now. Uh, you got osmium. I might be missing one or two things like a noob, but well, uh, this should get us going. Uh, yeah. And then we're probably going to need some glass. So I did make some glass here. Uh, four of them out, I think. Yeah. So that's nice. We got a decent amount of glass. And, uh, yeah, that should get us something going here anyways, or hopefully uh, gets us going. So magnetic dynamo. So you're going to need us. Oh, of course, redstone. I'm going to miss, like, one of the biggest items for the whole thing. And I might need a couple of these, too, for whatever. So there we go. So here you go. Magnetic dynamo. You're going to need invar gear. So if you shift-click this, we can make a couple of them. Boom, done, over. And then uh, we need this here. So that's silver, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And then I think that's really it. It's actually really easy. Man, it's so, so weird not playing with expert recipes because we're just so used to them. Uh, I'm going to make it daytime here in a second. But at the same time, I'd like to pick up my lava that I've obtained over time. I want a bucket. Maybe Electra will make a day anyways for us. But if not, we will make it here in a second. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, so uh, for now, let's put the lava gen right here, I guess. And uh, we can just click this with a container or whatever. I think you can actually right click this. No, you can't. Okay. For some reason, I thought you could just do that. I think you can punch this. If not, we're going to learn a horrible lesson in two seconds. Yeah, you can do that. Um, but the thing is, it's not going to go into it unless uh, if you wrench it in there. So we're going to have to do that. So that's the lava gen. Everything's pretty much fine with that. We just need to do some wrench wenches, wrenches, and we're good to go here. So the goal with all this right now is to get a bit of setup on that, but mainly my goal is actually to aim towards uh, AE system because I would love to have an AE system up and running. So the next thing is I would like to store the power. You've got a couple of choices, 400, eh, 2 million. 2 million sounds like a better deal to be honest. So 
Uh, if we go ahead and we look at here, we can see this is made out of leadstone. And there's actually one that's even further here. Oh yeah, here we go, this one here. So this is lead, and so we'll just go one, two, and say sure, why not? There you go. And then we go back to that, and we go to the second one here. So you can see everything else we have. We're just going to need a couple of these, so one, two. I always make two of these normally. You don't have to, of course. You can make whatever you want, right? Uh, maybe if you click the right recipe, it'll help a lot. There you go. So two of them, boom, done. So that is our power storage now. And uh, the next thing I would like to work on is probably uh, some you know, cabling or whatever, but we'll do that after. The next thing I want to do actually is Crescent Hammer. Will the Crescent Hammer show in this or is it under a different name? Oh no, there it is. Battle Wrench, there we go. Crescent Hammer. And this is our, our ultimate tool to basically make our life easier. So it's annoying that we're hopping back and forth, but the hopping back and forth, of course, will change over time for sure. So uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Actually, you know what? Let's... Okay, that's not going to work. We're going to be breaking this and putting a hole in the wall for now. This is why you probably are going to want to pick in your house. Oh, actually, I made a wrench and I'm an idiot. I had, I had all this stuff in my inventory and I didn't need to do that because um, I could wrench it now. Let's see here. Let's put this here. And I'm going to do it sideways even though I don't want it sideways. I'm going to put that one there, this one here. And then what you can do is you can do this. There you go. And we're going to put the tank on top of here, like so. And we're going to even crank it open here. And I'll turn it off for a bit. There we go. And it'll start doing its thing here, of course, once it needs the power. I think it's a little smart and it turns off when it's not in need. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill this open. We're going to open the floodgates in a sense. Uh, blue is out, orange is in, basically. So... Uh, there you go. That should fill it, but it's going to go to the... Oh, no, no, no. I lied. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. Blue is right. There you go. That's filling it. Orange is out. Oh, it's so cool. The echoing sound playing with the uh, buttons here. So there you go. And then we can do output on the side here like so, except this is output here. Or what you can do is you can do it at the bottom and doing some basic wiring, which I might consider doing, so... We we just need uh, some sort of uh, pick. Um, we made osseum and we made what is this called? Boron. Yeah, let's make a let's grab. I should say my boron pick. Oh, maybe Togi stole it from me or borrowed it. Oh, okay. Well, what other picks do I have since you stole my pick? Damn, Togi. I wonder if it was Togi. I did have one before when we were doing all this crazy stuff before, but eh, whatever. Uh, do, 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 do. It's like, where can I find myself a pick here? I'm looking for a gem one. I don't know where the gem ones are here. Huh. Eh, whatever. Just find one by looking, I guess. Six hours later. Okay, you know what? We'll just make a pick. That seems like a better decision. I got some of this random dark steel, and I think there is a dark steel pick anyway, so let's build one of those for fun. There we go. It has how much durability? 1,500. Cool. Okay. So we got the lab regeneration going, of course, and it's going into the power buffer, which is good. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is probably some sort of um, store or some sort of uh, transportation, I should say, of the energy itself. And there's a few ways. Uh, Ender IO has probably my favorite ones. I don't know if I can. I wouldn't say I couldn't afford it. I just don't know if I have the infrastructure for it yet. Uh, basically, you need conduit binders and conduct. Uh, conductive iron. Conductive iron is actually really easy to make, except it just requires an alloy smelter or an induction smelter. I don't have either of them yet. We haven't gotten that far really in that sense. So uh, to make that, it it's not really expensive at all. Um, I actually really would want it, and I think I want it. Yeah, let's make an alloy smelter. <laughs> it's like I just went from eh to eh. 
Uh, let's do it. Alloy smelter. It is one of my favorite smelters, to be honest. So we're going to need to make this machine casing. It requires steel ingots. Now, steel, on the other hand, is a little expensive. The way I normally do steel, we do have a bit of steel. We got lucky, which you find in the world. But I do want to tell you how to obtain steel. Normally, you do a, people do the coke ovens, and then they do the blast furnace and all that. No, 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 no. All you need to do is an induction smelter. And the induction smelter is super easy. Um, all you need is a basic machine frame, which is this one right here. Some tin and glass and iron, uh, electrum gear, invar, and, oh, well, that's that one, sorry, uh, invar, uh, invar, redstone receptacle, bucket, etc. And that's all. And all you have to do is put two coal dust in there and one iron, and it'll give you one piece of steel. Easy as heck, um, and highly recommended. Uh, but the Ender IO, I guess we played around with the recipes for fun before. So we didn't like, customize the recipes, but we did turn them on to quote unquote harder mode, I guess. And one of the changes was to use steel in the chassis. So it's actually a little more expensive than normal. What the? What the frick? What what did I just see? I gotta click that link to see. Yeah, no, that that is a thing. What the frick? <laughs> what the? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. What the? What the? Anyways, this is how you normally would make it till somebody went crazy with something here. Um, and then, of course, you got your cauldron. I actually think I might have had one I picked up or something, but it's all right. It's not like expensive. <laughs> um, okay, so we did that, and um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, some iron, 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 iron. One, two, three, four. Uh, da, 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 that was for that. We need to do this now. So this is see, there's two different recipes. This is why we have this on here, so we can, for some reason, if you need the other one. I don't even know if there is a use for those actually. Let's let's check it out. I don't want to make it. I just want to see what's the use for it. No use. Okay, no use. Um okay, I think we can shift click this. Yes, we can. And then hey, don't derp up on me. We need a couple furnaces. Furnaces. It might be just easier to grab these instead. Whoop. And then go up and down like a wild animal. And then there we go. Alloy smelter built, my friends. So we need some iron and redstone, which we have. Perfect. And then we're going to need to make bonders, which that's going to be easy too. So there you go. Um, for now, let's put this output on the side here. We'll throw that here. And uh, you can actually upgrade the speed over this on, over time if you want to. Uh, but let's go 16, I guess. 16 sounds like a good number. And there we go. And I think that'll work. Yep, it's doing its thing. Uh, three, six, nine, eighteen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Uh, seventeen, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. There you go. There we go. Is this already empty or is this? No, this is already emptied. Is it? Oh no, just finished now. So that produced us quite a bit. Seven hundred. Yeah, about seven seven hundred uh, RF, I guess, for four buckets. That's not too terrible. It's not the best either, but was it seven buckets worth? I think I think it is. I don't know. Yeah, four buckets. Cool. There we go. 
Um, okay, so we got that going. Now we need to make binders, binders, binders. Binders are actually really easy. I think it was just sand and stuff. Uh, here it is. Oh yeah, gravel, clay. Okay, so we need a bit of clay. We're gonna need uh, gravel. Probably a bit more, maybe. Just cause, oh yeah, you don't forget to give you like a hundred of these. I forgot about that. It's like something stupid, actually. But we'll grab more. Oh yeah, here we go. Top one. Nope. Last one. Damn it, I'm running out of sand, apparently. Okay, so if we go like this and shift click, you're going to get more out of this. Watch this. When you right click, they produce four at a time, too. So let's do... 32 and we'll probably have enough for a lifetime not really a lifetime, but you know what I mean and Then we can go Here you go That's gonna be a waste by the way because these do them in 16s now for one There you go, so just grab this out of here This out of here this out of here something like that Okay, and that, my friends, should make us a conduit, which is the basic one. Uh, the next one isn't even that expensive either. It's this one here. It just requires a bit more to it. Uh, it's gold and redstone, basically, in the alloy f furnace. Oh, actually, redstone and glowstone, yeah, and gold. There we go. Oh, look at that. We got six of them already. So that's that's going to be enough for a while, actually. Woo! 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 And this should be more than enough. Oh, yeah. So here we go. There we go. And there we go. And that we can put that underground. Perfect. Okay. So uh, things, of course, are going to plan exciting uh the next thing i would want to probably do is a pulverizer might as well make life a little easier and uh we're gonna need some copper gears on that oh yeah there's the build craft gears huh uh let's do it for old time's sake let's do it there's achievements you unlock for doing this anyway so why not right so here's some wood so i think build craft is like this and then we might as well do them in twos there you go. And then here's this one. And then copper. Completely out of normal style here. There you go. And there we go. And uh, we're going to need to make one of these. So tin. We might as well do it this way. You know what? I'm going to probably need another one of these. Uh, let's do three of them actually of each. Okay. And let's get rid of you. Actually, let's put you here, you here, you here, you here. Something like that. Okay. And then, uh, here we go. We need glass and iron. There's the three that I talked about. And then we're going to need uh, one of you for starters. Probably need more, but I'm not worried about that. Aha, uh -huh. going to need this guy here. So we're going to just put this in here. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And then, oh crap, cobblestone, right? Yeah. What happens when you get rid of your cobblestone? One, one, just one. What do we, what do we build? Oh yeah, one, just one for now. Okay, and then, oh, flint. Actually, I put most of my flint in one of these things, I think. Yeah, here it is. And there you go. That's the pulver pulverizer. Uh, redstone furnace, I would say. Might as well keep with the family, right? Do we have any brick around here? No. Do we have any of that brick around here? No. We're going to need some clay here. Uh, there you go. We'll do something like that. Uh, you up there. You up there. And these are probably done. There you go. Excellent. 
So that'll be our redstone furnace, and uh, yeah, that'll help a lot. The next thing we're going to probably want to do is, we're probably going to want a couple of hoppers, actually. Um, let's do two hoppers. There you go. And then probably going to want a couple of chests, or at least, actually probably just one really in the end, but probably just need one hopper, one that, but whatever. And then copper gears again. These are the other versions. And then um, redstone, blah, blah, blah again. And then redstone. And then the next thing is just the bricks, which we're working on right now, which we can grab from here. I'm going to say, get out of here. Oh, wait. I guess I really overdid it. There you go. And then I think it's like that. Yep. And then shift click and boom, redstone furnace made. So now we should be able to have some fun by setting this up. So this thing is still going, huh? Oh, you're actually done? Oh no, you're finishing the last one. Might as well let you do that. So we're gonna start smashing this up a bit. And we need to do the bottom here if we can. So you done? And now you're done, now you're done. There you go. The power actually stays with this. Um, you can wrench this out by the way, but the power does stay. It compels it to stay, um, but yeah, we'll go over here. The reason I did these is later on I'll show you them, but you can hide these really well underground, which is kind of cool. Might not work well with the style we're using of the floor right now. I might actually change up the floor uh, later on because this one I told you about the blocks kind of being weird and funny and it doesn't work well. Oh, there must be an output already. Oh yeah, there is, cool. So we can put this back to blue. There you go. So we can say pulverizer here and then we want it directly linked to the redstone furnace. So you can see the output is here. Now, what about the output for this yellow? Well, what I like doing personally is set yellow over here and close this one off and boom, there is your output for this. Then you're gonna have an output for this and then I realize I don't have a chest, um, another chest here for what we're gonna want. So we'll have to deal with that. Here you go, we can put that there for now. Actually, there's a mod on here, chest. Is it on here? I think we have one that does it. That sounds cool, a demon chest. Oh, here it is. Slightly larger chest. It, it lets it go back to the old full size chest if you want it. Uh, it's kind of cool actually, extra utilities. Uh, either way, um, what we're gonna do, oh yeah, we needed more wood. There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll craft that and then we have to do the automation, have it all connected. Uh, so yeah, from here, okay, so we're gonna put a hopper here. And this will pull from the above chest. So we're gonna put the uh, wood here and the chest on top of it, there you go. And it'll go into the top here and you can see that it's blue here to go into the pulverizer. The output for the red will go to the right uh, on the left here you want blue, so you're going to pull this in with the blue. These automatically pull, or push I should say, not pull. That's why we're using the hopper to push into it. And uh, But from the machine to the machine it has an automatic ejector. So it'll automatically go in here and then the output of course will be this chest which uh, will be basically all automated. We don't have to worry about it. So we might as well just screw this, turn this on full time. ADRF tech's not bad anyways. This will use 40 RF, this will use 20 by the way. And then uh, we can put our little machine back here for whenever we need it again. There you go. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, so let's go ahead and I guess try putting something in there to test out the automation. Uh, so you get a bit of byproduct of things, uh, especially the nice one, it will be shiny eventually, which will be very valuable to us. Um, but uh, let's see what I'm gonna do. I guess we should go to our ore chest, right? So you could do all the copper ore, for example. It's a little, quite a bit there. 
uh, or a bit of everything really. So we could say I want one copper, uh, let's do one iron, um, let's do the one tin. What else do we got in here? There's osium, uh, silver, titanium. I don't care about the osium as much. We'll do gold, I guess. We could just put it all in there in that sense when we have that little bit. We got some silver there. Might as well get rid of that copper as well. Just go nuts with it, you know. Just have fun and throw it in there. I'll keep the ferris as well. Um, the reason I want to hold on to the ferris is if I silk touch gold later... Uh, sorry, Silk Touch Redstone, I can get something with it that will increase the yield of the Ferris. And I'll show you that if I can. Oh, here's one of them, but that's a 10%. Yeah, that's not what I want to show you. Uh, here you go. Right now it's 10%, but if you use it in an induction smelter with Cinnabar, um, you will get three Ferris, but you'll also get 100% shiny, which is useful later on. Uh, the Cinnabar here you can get really easily by pulverizing redstone ore. You get a 25% chance of getting it. Uh, basically, you just need to start grabbing redstone with Silk Touch, uh, which will become quite important later on. And uh, yeah, we can just dump all this in. Let's let it do its thing, and uh, that's it. It'll automatically push it over here, it'll automatically smelt it, and there you go. That's it. We've done a little automation there, and we don't have to worry about it, except just feeding it lava, and of course more ores if we want those to uh, keep being produced. But you'll see this power will keep going up and up and up, because it's only using 60 RF for the entire thing, versus uh, 80 that it produces from just the one generator. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and uh, we'll see wonderful people next time.